The true epidemic is depression, and people from all over the world, now more than ever, are suffering from it. And in this video, I'm going to share four things, in fact, maybe five, that worked for me so quickly to cure my depression after years of suffering from it. And I am convinced that if it worked for me, it will work for you or others. And, and if you haven't experienced depression yourself, it is a guarantee that you know someone in your life, probably multiple people, friends or family or whoever, that have suffered from it as well. Now, let me just say real quick, I'm going to speak off the cuff. I have a couple notes in front of me, but this is not going to be my typical video where I script it out. Um, so if I ramble on a bit, bear with me, but I, I, it is worth it. And this, if it doesn't apply to you, this video will be something that can help somebody else. I truly believe that. And I told myself years ago, because my goal was to create a YouTube channel and discuss topics that I love and bring light and information to others. And I told myself once I got big enough, I would share things that would truly help humanity. And this video is long overdue. So let me just dive into it. I was depressed for a few years and I believe that it was induced by a knee surgery that I had that caused me to be essentially couch ridden for almost five months. And I believe that that lack of exercise, sunlight and everything else is just, it changed something in my brain. And I hate to admit it, but I did try antidepressants. Uh, it was encouraged by other people I knew that had tried it. And I did the base entry level, it was Zoloft 50 milligram, which is considered like the minimum, but I don't recommend it. I did it for four months, did not help me. And although I know other people that it did help and they say it changed their lives forever, um, to me, for most people, it's like putting a Band-Aid on a broken bone. So I am not about to recommend pharmaceuticals to you. So let me tell you what I am recommending. And, and let me start off with a thing that made the most unbelievable difference within days. I couldn't even believe it. So a dry sauna. That is something I first tried on uh, January 1st, 2020. And the, after that first day, I felt amazing. But by the second day, and especially the third, is when I realized it was like the depression was cured. Now, if you haven't experienced depression, it's almost unexplainable in that it's not sadness. It's not feeling down in the dumps. It's quite literally uh, something in your brain that causes you to not be able to focus. You lose drive to be able to do things in your life. Um, for me, I pulled back from friends and family because that's the thing you need to understand is that there's so many people suffering from depression, but a lot of them are going to hide it like I did. I didn't want people to know that there was something off of, you know, going on in my head where I felt like, you know, unmotivated to do things. Um, and it's heartbreaking to, to share that with other people. And a lot of people keep things pent up. So long story short, I started using a dry sauna because I had heard profound effects. Uh, including longevity, like people that use sauna from around the world. The studies are all over the place that shows that if you use a sauna three days a week for 15 minutes, you will live longer. It's significant reduction in heart disease, cancer, um, uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, and that's a big deal. But long story short, I started using a sauna at my gym um, because I couldn't afford one and I hope to buy one myself. So if you can't afford a sauna either, because they're thousands of dollars, get a damn gym membership and start doing this immediately. Go at least three, four days a week, no less than 15 minutes at at least 175 degrees. I have never tried these infrared ones, these, those wavelength things. I, look, maybe they work, maybe they don't, I don't know. All I know is that natural heat has gotta be the way to go because I am convinced that it like cooked something out of my brain and it worked within days, guys. You have to try this. I've recommended this to other people in my life that suffer from depression and they still haven't tried the sauna. You know why? Because they don't feel like going to the gym, getting changed in the locker room, and just being out of their comfort zone. And to be honest with you, I had prolonged my first time going to the, to the sauna for months. I got the gym. I had a gym membership. They didn't have a sauna. So I got a second membership at a place that did. And then it was like three, four months before I finally went. And it was on January 1st, 2020. So by sitting in there, <laughs> I'm convinced it cooks something out of you. You have to try it. It will make you feel good. It burns the toxins out of your body. And if there was one thing and one thing only that had the most profound effect on me, it was that. Try it. Secondly, now this is going to apply more to men, but it involves testosterone. We have reduced testosterone in this modern age because we are not doing things like we used to. The, the things that mankind was meant to do. 
like be outside more and getting vitamin D, using our legs, like whether it's bending down and freaking harvesting crops or hunting, it is proven that testosterone, higher testosterone alleviates depression. And it is also proven that we have lower testosterone now because we are sitting around all day in cubicles and on the couch and we're not living the lifestyle that humans were meant to live. Long story short, there are studies that prove that people who do leg exercises, leg press, squats, it boosts your testosterone. And when I started doing leg exercises, that had a profound effect on me as well. A lot of people go to the gym and they're like, you know how guys are. They'll do their upper body and no lower body. They skip the leg day, right? Guys, try this. If you don't want to go to the gym, do some lunges in your house down the hallway. Do some like squats, lean against the freaking wall, whatever you got to do. It will help. Another little thing you can do, and this is, this is getting personal and this will be a video for itself, but for you men to boost your testosterone, you need to stop masturbating so often. A, by prolonging, studies show that by day seven of you not ejaculating, your testosterone is up 150%, 150. That in itself, guys, guys, you're addicted to porn, you're addicted to the dopamine rush when you jerk off, and same thing for sex addicts too, probably. You shouldn't be getting off quite as often as you are. Now, I will make a video on what's called semen retention. This is getting a little bit personal and it's not what this video is about. And if women are listening, like, well, how does this help me? Well, it might help a guy you know that's depressed, right? So keep that in mind. There are things you can do to elevate your testosterone. Leg exercises, not freaking ejaculating so often, sunlight, and other things. Google it. How to naturally increase your testosterone. Do that. That is one of the primary reasons for depression. Um, but here's something else. And this is just as profound as everything else that I just mentioned between the sauna and the, and the testosterone, which is purpose and goals. Purpose fixes everything and creating goals, even small. It could be, for example, oh, okay, I'm going to go to the gym four days this week for no less than a half hour each day. That is a goal. And you're going to write it down on a little piece of paper and you're going to scratch it off and it's going to feel real good when you complete it. Goals could be, it could be something work-related. It could be something with friends and family. It could be volunteering. It could be a million different things. But goals and purpose is, guys, this is one of the hugest things too. I don't know what's causing depression more than anything. It could be one more than the other. It could be different people it affects differently. Or it could be all the above. But I can tell you right now that there's nothing more satisfying than have a life purpose. And let me give you a short story because this is really interesting. So I'm an Iraq war veteran. I had volunteered. I was inspired by 9-11. I now, my views have changed dramatically. I believe it was a massive crime against humanity and everything else. But what I can tell you is that when I was doing missions in Iraq, I have never felt better in my life. Now, I didn't shoot anybody. That's not what I'm saying here. But I believed at the time that I was liberating the Iraqi people and I was putting myself in danger. There's this excitement of going outside the wire with a freaking machine gun and not knowing if you're going to get blown up that day. And, and having that, that, that feeling of that I was protecting somebody. Guys, back in the day, like when we were more tribal, you know, there was that feeling where you couldn't just like sit around lounging around, you know, without protecting your tribe, so to speak. There was that feeling if you could get invaded by marauders or another tribe or whoever it may have been, another empire. And, and so having that sense of like, you know, the unknown and danger and that we're not living such a cushy, comfortable life, that is something that's played a part in it as well. Um, I can tell you, I have taken great inspiration from different people, athletes, whoever. I mean, I might just be some YouTube nerd, but there was someone I love who's Tyson Fury. He's the heavyweight boxing champion of the world, lineal champion. I love the guy. And he's been very outspoken about his own mental health issues and depression. And one of the things he had mentioned was that creating goals, even small ones. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run a mile today. I'm going to start with that. That's a goal. It doesn't have to be exercising. I mentioned going to the gym earlier. Get creative, but you need to find your purpose. Purpose fixes everything. Mental health, your relationships with friends and family, your work. If you have a... Uh, guys, purpose could be a million different things. You know, I'm still looking for my purpose. Like some people think, oh, it's, you know, talking to the ancients and sharing things on YouTube. But part of me is like, man, I want to help humanity and leave this place better it was than before I got here. So I'm, I'm letting that fuel me as well. And, and even this video, knowing that I have the following that I do, that by sharing this video, if even if it could help just one person, it would be worth it. That's part of a purpose. But purpose doesn't have to be 
fixing anything or helping anyone on some grand scale. Purpose could be just being good to your kids or, or rate helping your nieces and nephews have a good uh, upbringing or volunteering for something. You know, it, it could be, uh, you know, it could be one million different things. And if you could think of something on how people could find their purpose, leave a comment down below. But this ties into my next point, which is that you have to be around people. You have to be around friends and family. When I was depressed, I pulled back from everyone and I just wanted to stay home all the time. Um, and it felt impossible to go out. Now, I understand that when you're depressed, you're not going to feel like going to the gym. You're not going to feel like going out with friends. You're not going to feel like there's any drive or purpose in your life at all. And this is where this little part comes in, which is that this is a war against yourself. The war on drugs, the war on terror, the war on anything does not work. It is counterproductive. But I'm telling you right now, this is a battle against yourself. You have to get your butt off that damn couch and you're going to go to the gym and you're going to work out and you're going to try. You're going to go outside and get some fresh air and breathe in, you know, get the sunlight. You have got to fight your way out of this. That is what got me. Like it, it took January 1st for me to finally go to the damn sauna for the first time. And I didn't feel like going, but I finally just said, fuck it, go. Like I was, so, that feeling of despair was just, I had hit my breaking point. I'm like, it's time to get busy living or get busy dying. And I'm telling you right now, the sooner you make changes in your life, because you always have a choice, you do have free will. And those who tell you that you don't are massively misinformed. The only way you don't have free will is if you lack the awareness of what that you do, that you can make choices, choices and decisions in your life that can change your life forever. You can do this. Now, that being said, um, there are a number of other things too, smaller things. Um, in no particular order, like I already said, vitamin D, get outside, eat fruits and vegetables. If you don't like fruits and vegetables, it's because you're addicted to crap food and you need to change that crap up. You need to be eating garlic and everything else. There's so many different types of food that will boost your immune system. And I'm convinced that by having a higher immune system, your brain will function better as well. Um, a couple other things. Now, uh, this is where it gets touchy. So some people, let me just say, I was using cannabis, marijuana for depression and it helped greatly. However, if you are going to go down that path, you need to understand that it will keep you depressed. Alcohol, cannabis, those things in, in, in the moment, like while you're having this up feeling, it's like the depression goes away. That's why people do drugs to feel good. It's not because they're some piece of shit. It's because they're trying to feel good in life. But I'm telling you right now, like the weed thing, I used to be a complete advocate for it. Well, I still am. But I'm telling you that if you, if you suffer from depression, it might, if you haven't tried weed before, there are certain strains that are known to alleviate depression. And I would encourage you to try it, but you have to go into it with a game plan knowing that it's temporary. Do it for a number of months if you need to, to try to like get yourself out of the day-to-day -day of like complete suffering. But I'm telling you right now, you're going to have to kick it. You're going to have to get rid of it at some point to truly escape the depression. It's true. It took a long time for me to finally admit that. Um, other things, sleep routine, get good sleep. That matters. Um, but the power of belief is everything. Believing that you can be happy because you had been happy before. You had, there was one point in your life that you weren't depressed. At least I hope. Some people suffered it from day one as children and still do today. But now's the time for you to try the things I just told you. But the belief that you can allevi be alleviated of your suffering is, it cannot be overstated on how powerful that is. Try it. <sighs> so where was I? What else? Guys, that's it. Use the sauna. It worked. It worked for me day one, but I realized that it was like a cure by day two and three. I was like, am I just feeling good today? Cause it was like, is it placebo? Like I didn't, let me just say, I didn't go into it knowing it was gonna cure me of depression. But after the first day, I'm like, well, I feel so good today. For the rest of the day, I felt awesome. So I'm like, you know, was that me thinking in my head that it had made some difference? But it wasn't until a few days in that I was like, oh my God, this is like, it's like it didn't even happen, the depression. So there's that leg exercise. This applies to women as well. Um, but you need to do things to increase your testosterone for men, particularly, um, and purpose and goals. Again, purpose fixes everything again. Also war against yourself, 
that is the real thing here. We're against anything else don't work, but this, you're gonna have to fight your way out of this. And you can and you will. If I did it, you can do it. Because at one point, well at many points, I felt like it felt impossible. But I also still believe that one day I would feel better. So you need to believe it too. Anyways, I'm gonna close this up because, yeah, I'm already rambling. I already said the same things over. I wanna keep this short and sweet. I don't wanna make the video too long. But try these things out. If it worked for me, it can work for you. Share this with other people. I guarantee you there's people in your life that need it. And leave a comment down below to say and share what's worked for you. But try it. What have you got to lose? Get busy living or get busy dying. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to everything to, to get out of this mess. Because if you check out and go down that suicide path like some people do, you're going to cause a lot of suffering to others. Don't be a selfish person because that's what that is. And I say it with love and respect because I know people have taken their lives and it's the most heartbreaking thing ever. So... Anyways, my name is Jimmy Corsetti. My channel is called Bright Insight. I have many videos on lots of different topics. And like I said, when I made this channel, well, I was making videos on all kinds of different topics when I first started this, and now I'm getting back to my roots. I have other videos on Ancients coming, but I have other videos on other amazing topics coming as well. So all that said, I'll close it up here. Take care, everybody.